Prosperity Conference was organized for Southeast and Delta states. No wonder the presence of governors of Southeastern states, including that of Delta states, the clergy, traditional rulers, captains of industry, elder statesmen, including representatives of Ohanes and Dibu. As expected, deliberations at the conference centered on ways to approach security issues holistically with the convener, Governor Willie Obiano, taking the lead. I stood here with open hands and an open heart. First, I must congratulate all the brothers, the governors of the South East and Delta, uh, who assumed office almost three months ago. I followed your programs from your first day in office, and I can boldly say that there is hope for our people. And this may well be our finest hour as a people. The turning point in our march to greatness that must tip the scale of progress in favor of our people. I say this with a great sense of responsibility because recent experience has shown that living in a, an increasingly dangerous world, the only policy for economic growth and development is a safe and secure environment. Our world, ladies and gentlemen, our world has never been an easy place to live in. Through the ages, humanity has always been united by one concern or the other. Sadly, most of the mankind's greatest anxieties were caused by man's own hands. I speak to the transatlantic slave trade, I speak to Apartheid South Africa, again, I speak of the world wars. And finally, I speak to our present climate of fear brought upon us by terrorists. To bring the matter closer home, I also speak of our own world enemies, the insurgents, kidnapping, violence, and armed robbery, child trafficking, and other petty crimes that rob us of our desired peace of mind. The Anambra story. Ladies and gentlemen, the economic survival of our people, of a people who depends on how well we answer these questions. In Anambra State, we have made bold efforts to answer these questions. We have fought and won the war against crime and criminality. Other governors, from the governor of Abia State, Dr. Okeze Ibazo, the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifani Okowa, and that of Enugu State, Mr. Ifani Ugwani, concurred to the idea of tackling security with utmost seriousness for economic growth of the area. I take it beyond the dimension of crime to say that it touches on our values also. As people from this region, Delta all through the five states in the southeast, what are our core values? I must underscore the fact that we are hard-working people that enjoy freedom, and we want to make money and be able to enjoy our money in a legitimate way. But today, the scenario and picture has changed, and all kinds of crime have been imported into the lexicon of our existence. Not until we put our hands together, this canker work of crime will battle down our desire and enthusiasm to liberate ourselves economically. As a former member of the House of Representatives and the former chairman of the House of Representatives, the Chancellor and the Governor of the United States, I understand the importance of security. I would like to use this opportunity to commend the very special way the Inspector General of Police, who has done so well so far. I also would like to use this opportunity to congratulate Director General of the State Security Service, for you to have been here and for you to have attached this importance to this function means that you indeed you have this, the interest of the South is at heart, and I'm sure that once you get security right, you'll be able to get to the next level. I bring you a message of hope, peace, and development from your brothers and sisters from the United States. I am from the United States not only to identify with the theme of today's function, but also to fellowship with Anambra people. 
Events of this nature cannot take place without the active participation of security chiefs who did not only advise on ways to upgrade security and reduce crime to its barest minimum, but also promised to render help when and where necessary in order to achieve the desired goal. Because security issues flows with economic activity. The common thread of security is uh, a collective responsibility is so relevant that any nation that fails to encourage it does so as soon as We must all come together. From time to time, our occasions like this to interact and improve on our targets and our various modes of operation. As simple as the thing may sound, I can assure you that it is the basic foundation upon which effective security governance and policy management is focused. Security challenges of today have continued to question the capability and capacity of managers to propose solutions. This is therefore the reason why a summit of this nature has become absolutely important. This conference marks another giant and innovative step towards meeting the most sacred responsibility of governance, which is the security and safety of the citizens. The uniqueness of this conference lies in the acquisition of a need to pull resources together and provoke a meaningful engagement amongst strategic political and security stakeholders with a view to jointly addressing a common security problem that is peculiar to the region and the contiguous states. One thing is, is significant in this event. It was a cross carpet of several political parties talk of the presence of two senators representing Anambra North Senatorial District, Mrs. Stella Odua, and his Anambra Central counterpart, Iyom Uche Ekunife, member representing Onisha 1 and 2 in the House of Representatives, Ms. Linda Ibazo, all of the People's Democratic Party, and the leader of Progressive People's Alliance in Anambra State, Mr. Godwin Ezemo. Absolutely. I mean, uh, politics comes and remains on its own way. But when issues that touch the life of virtually everybody comes up, everybody must be part of it. And nobody, we shouldn't politicize it. We must make sure that it is done and done very well. People should make their genuine contribution, irrespective of whether it's their political party, whether, I mean, it's their people that are on the power or not. Because, for instance, when we talk about uh, when we talk about uh, uh, kidnapping now, I mean, if they come, 
<laughs> they wouldn't know that I'm from PPA. They will take me. If they come the next day and they see Apuga chairman, national chairman, they will collect him. Is that not true? So, but, so it is to PDP, any other political party. So what will happen is that at once an issue that is, I mean, that affects everybody comes up. I mean, political pol uh, politics should be dropped aside, and that that issue discussed very well, so that we can have a solution for us to have the type of ground that we, I mean, facilitate. I mean, the growth of this. Uh Stakeholders at the event during interactive session suggested possible ways of enhancing security. Our proposal is that the state governors who are chief uh, security officers should share some responsibilities for security in the state with the federal authorities rather than um, everything coming from the, uh, from the federal. And when you pay the people as due, they will be able to plan, take care of their families adequately. So inability to pay workers' salaries as due has contributed to the exacerbation of crimes in this country. The extension to cattle rearers possessing rifle and dangerous weapons in disguise as protective instruments. These cattle rearers, they carry on, they carry ammunition, pretending to be protecting themselves, and at the same time, they commit crimes within. Other big shots, like Chief GUO, the Vice Chancellor of Nam Dazikiwe University, Oka, Professor Joseph Ahaneuku. Professor Godwin Onu, Director of Federal Polytechnic, Oko, and the State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Hassan Kama, all applauded the initiative of Governor Obiano. It is difficult. The citizens can contribute money, they can help, they can encourage uh, the vigilantes, but the, most of this thing relies on the governors. For me, coming from the university system, we are managing the critical mass of the people involved in criminalities and crime in this country, that is the youth. And uh, from the lessons learned today, we are actually going to make progress, especially within the Southeast region and the uh, Delta. facilities for police to be able to discharge their constitutional mandates. We come in, our brothers and sisters who have been away from home, we want to come back to celebrate marriages, celebrate Christmas and the New Year. We urge those of us at home to cooperate with all the security agencies so that we have even a more safer society for our brothers and sisters coming from outside. What has a beginning must have an end. So says the state deputy governor, Dr. Nkem Okeke, who took the vote of thanks. We've made this occasion a worldwide effort. I thank you all for your presence here. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the IGP of police for your keynote address. Wonderfully put. This is the second visit to Anambra State since he became the IGP of police. I think he deserves a round of applause.
now that the first step has been taken, it is expected that in no distant time there will be a crime-free society and everything will fall into place. From the Governor's Lodge, I'm all there. I am Ngozi Mobideri, reporting for ABS News.